hello everyone uh, today we'll be doing this uh, routing information protocol and this is the topology ye topology hamare paas hai so here we have uh, three pcs ye hamare paas teen pc hai okay ek pc ye hai hamare paas theek hai then second one so we have three pcs ye these are the three pcs then we have two routers ye do routers hamare paas hai okay this router and this router एंड दिस दिस आर द्री स्विच ये तीन स्विच हैं हमारे पास ओके हम इसे कॉन्फिगर करेंगे इस इसको पैकेट ट्रेसर में बट यू मस्ट फर्स्ट नो द कॉन्फिगरेशन पूरा हमें समझना है नाउ दिस राउटर ये राउटर में ये जो पर्टिकुलर राउटर है देर आर थ्री नेटवर्क विद दिस राउटर एक है ये ये जो हमने लिखा है ना दिस इज एक्चुअली नेटवर्क एड्रेस ये नेटवर्क एड्रेस है ये किसी को असाइन नहीं करते हम लोग तो एक नेटवर्क टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो है दूसरा ट्वेंटी डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो और थर्ड नेटवर्क इज थर्टी डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो सो ये तीन नेटवर्क ये पर्टिकुलर राउटर के साथ कनेक्टेड है देन वी हैव दिस राउटर ये राउटर के पास जो है एक नेटवर्क फोर्टी डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो है और एक नेटवर्क थर्टी डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो है ना हम यहाँ पर असाइन वी आर असाइनिंग द एड्रेस तो हम एड्रेस क्या असाइन करते हैं दिस पर्टिकुलर पी ये जो पी है इसको हमने जो एड्रेस दिया है ये टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टू दिया है स्विच uh, को हमको एड्रेस नहीं असाइन करते हैं देन दिस दिस पर्टिकुलर ये ये जो राउटर का जो पॉइंट है यहाँ से ये दिस इज़ द वी कैन से गेट इसका गेट है सो टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट वन ओके और ये जो इंटरफेस है इसका एड्रेस है ट्वेंटी डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट वन और उसके बाद जो पी कनेक्टेड है इसका एड्रेस इज ट्वेंटी डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टू एंड दिस वन ये इंटरफेस जो है इसका एड्रेस है थर्टी डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट वन और ये राउटर का ये जो इंटरफेस है इसका एड्रेस है थर्टी डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टू और ये जो इंटरफेस है इसका एड्रेस इज फोर्टी डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट वन एंड दिस पी सी एड्रेस इज फोर्टी डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो डॉट टू सो देर आर फोर नेटवर्क इन ऑल एक नेटवर्क ये है ये दो ये तीन एंड दिस इज द फोर्थ वन सो देर आर फोर नेटवर्क ओके सो it is better if you draw this diagram on your book so that it would be easier to for us to configure theek hai then dekho humne yahan par ye red se mark kiye hain ye interface 0/0 hai 1/0 hai 0/1 hai then here we have 0/1 and 0/0 to ye interface hame mark karna zaruri hai because kabhi kabhi hum ye mistake kar lete hain ke yahan ka address wahan chale jata hai wahan ka address to ye interface ke sath karenge to it becomes much easier so we can draw this diagram with the interface uh, okay so now we'll see how to configure it on cisco packet tracer so now we configure the network on cisco packet tracer so first of all we select the router so router is selected from this point so we take the router as 1841 this one so we place it here this 1841 we require two router we select one more 1841 then uh, switch so this switch we take uh, place one switch here and another switch here then we have a third switch here then we have pc so pc is selected from this option this pc one pc here another pc here the third pc here now before configuring the addresses ip addresses we see here this router Uh, by default, every router has only two interfaces. See here, it has two interfaces: Ethernet zero zero and zero one. There are only two interfaces. And uh, uh, this particular router it requires three interfaces: uh, one for this connection, one for this one, and one for this one. So we need to add one interface in this particular router. So let us see how we add that particular interface before doing all the connections. Now to add the interface, we click here. Double click here. Uh, and see here uh, physical and config so in config we see there are only two interfaces fast internet 00 and 01 so we need to add one more interface so we click on physical now in physical you will have this particular screen so here i just uh, drag on the right side and here i have to turn it off you can see here this uh, i'll just zoom in so here this is on so i turn it off so we before adding the interface the router must be turned off when we come here okay and we add this W I C I E one E net. I just drag it and put it here. So this is added. 
and then now I turn it on I turn it on okay. now uh, we come to configure so it is booting but here you can see there are there is one more interface Ethernet 010 is all is added okay. so now we can uh, go to the configuration part now okay or uh, connection part rather so we do the connection so first we connect this do you take this see there are so many number of wires so we can take the solid wire on PC we take fast Ethernet connect it to this take you can connect any fast Ethernet okay. then here also we can fast Ethernet and any of this fast Ethernet can be connected and then here from this point fast Ethernet now this uh, here there are three interfaces 0 0 0 1 and 1 0 okay so I take this as 0 0 I must remember which connection I am doing with this particular switch okay then uh, this one okay I take 0 1 0 1 I connect it here okay and any of this fast Ethernet and this connection okay, here fast Ethernet this one any fast Ethernet then this any fast Ethernet now here also I take this 0 0 I must remember this I am connecting 0 0 here okay. then I have to connect these two pieces I have to take this wire okay this one dotted one okay. so here Ethernet 1 0 with this as 0 1 okay now this uh, is how we do the connections okay now we'll configure the IP address on each uh, PCs and each interface of the routers now we assign the IP addresses to PCs and the router interfaces so before doing that see this is the this is what we have the configuration PC address is 10.0.0.2 this is 20.0.0.2 this is 40.0.0.2 and this router has three interfaces so one of the interface is 10.0.0 which is connected at this point this one okay then this is 20.0.0.1 this is 30.0.1 and so on okay you can note it down so we come uh, here then uh, come to this point now we click here okay now we come to desktop IP configure we configure the address this is 10.0.0.2 Two. Okay. this will come automatically and this particular default gateway is the address of that particular router interface which is connected to this PC okay this this PC this one this this route this one okay then we give the address of this PC this is a uh, desktop and here and this is actually 20.0.0.2 uh, okay subnet will come automatically and here 20.0.0.1 because uh, this particular address is this one is 20.0.1 okay then we come to this PC desktop and here the address is 40.0.0. sorry 40 it is 40 40.0.0.2 and this is 40.0.0.1 okay so this we have configured the PC IP addresses now we come to the router okay now router we have uh, three interfaces for this case so first we turn it on as soon as we turn on this becomes green so this is this interface so we have noted this is actually 10.0.0.1 this will come automatically now this is the next interface this this one fast Ethernet so I have clicked here I turn it on so this becomes this turns on so this address is actually 20.0.0.1 Okay, I turn it. I, I come to this point. This one is actually 30. This one. When I turn it on, it won't be on because I have to turn this part also on. By the way, I'll put the address. This is 30.0.0.1. Okay, this is finished. Now we come to this particular router. This router has two interfaces. So I come to config. So here, this fast Ethernet 00. This is this this particular network. So I turn it on. It becomes on. So this address is 40.0.0.1. One, and then I come to this point. As soon as I turn it on, this will become on, turn on. Okay. Now this is thirty dot zero dot zero dot two. Okay. So this is the configuration. Okay. Now uh, all the addresses have been configured, but we have not set the RIP protocol. Okay. The path is not set. So uh, suppose if we try to ping, I I'll just uh, type the ping command here. Okay. Now if I write ping command ping to that particular this particular PC this one this PC whose address is 40.0.0.2 okay 
so i get destination host unreachable because we have not set the path using the rip protocol so now we'll see how to uh, configure this rip protocol okay now before doing the rip part uh, see uh, what we observe in this case is this particular router this i am just marking with red this particular router is connected to three networks 30.0.0 20.0.0 and 30.0.0 so this is connected to this three uh, route this three at network so we have to add these three networks and this particular router is connected to two networks one is 40.0.0 and other is 30.0.0 so we have to add this okay so let us come to this uh, this point so now how we do rip i just click here okay and after clicking i click on rip okay rip i have to add the networks so this router is connected to three networks one is 10.0.0.0 i add this then other is 20.0.0.0 i add this and the last is a uh, 30.0.0.0 so this three networks okay they are added so this is complete for this configuration rip is complete three ad networks are added i click here so i click on rip now here this particular router is connected to these two networks so i will just write the address of these two networks one is 30.0.0.0 and uh, 40.0.0.0 that's all okay so this rip is now complete now we can ping and check the path okay i just click here i go to the command prompt okay i again ping that particular pc okay now let us see uh, what we are getting okay so maybe if the first two packets may be lost so okay only one packet is lost so we can see we get a reply okay so this three packets we we get a reply from this so this connectivity is complete okay so this is how rip works let us ping one more from this point okay i just type the ping command to the last pc 10.0.0.2 uh, so it is pinging okay so i get the reply so this uh, is how we do the rip in uh, using cisco packet tracing so that's all for this session thanks for watching